What's up? It's me, it's Kayla. So this is not the best angle to be at, but if you can tell by the intro to this video, my mobility, do I seriously only have one pill left? Oh no. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a update for my hydrogenitis superativa, AKA my HS. Now I've been accidentally putting off an update for so long, I was actually doing really, really well. I was pretty much in remission. I kept having like tiny, tiny flare ups, like, and be a little bit swollen or like maybe a wound that I just closed would open, but everything was like going okay. I was just waiting for me to get back into remission for me to make this video. Unfortunately, I'm at the opposite of remission right now. I am a week, a week and a day into a really bad flare up. I feel like I'm probably, you know, I've hit my peak and it's probably going to get better from here, hopefully. But last night was a disaster and I had to turn my camera on. I am basically very, very, very exhausted with this. And I forgot how bad this disease, whatever some people get like mad when I call it a disease. I don't know what you're mad about, but honestly, it feels like I'm diseased. I can't move the side of my body. I'm leaking disgusting pus everywhere. I have like five holes in my armpit. So um, if I want to say that I have a fucking disease, I will. So um, this is an update slash me like being upset because I truly forgot how bad everything could be. Let me take this one pill that I have left. I've basically been popping naproxen for the past couple of days, like taking way more than I know I should, but um, I just don't know what else to do. I've just been like high and popping pills. Um, I did get drunk the other day, alcohol did not help. So um, I've just been popping pills and smoking weed. So, um, I don't know let's talk about better things let's talk about remission because this is something that like I am so excited to get back to and I will try my hardest not to take it for granted so as you may know if you've watched my other HS videos I learned that my main triggers are nightshades tomatoes potatoes peppers for a while I thought maybe I could have potatoes maybe my body has a higher limit it can take of potatoes but truly I need to cut out all nightshades I've also realized that cheese does not help my situation um, maybe I'm not flaring up from cheese, but the cheese is definitely not helping me heal. So being in remission was great. Like my armpits were flat. My thighs weren't bumpy. I didn't have a bunch of weird blackheads everywhere. Um, and it was great. Now, the thing that I hated about being in remission is that I can't eat anywhere. A lot of people, a lot of people that are like, in the AIP group, the autoimmune paleo protocol group on Facebook, a lot of them are like, my food isn't my trigger, nightshades aren't my trigger, or I cut this out, but things are still happening. I don't think people realize how, I don't think people realize that nightshades are in everything. Think of how bland and creamy and salty mayonnaise is. Mayonnaise has paprika in it. I have to buy a certain brand which is Sir Kensington or um, Veganaise. They also just use mustard flour instead of mustard, which has paprika. Um, mayonnaise has paprika in it. Anything that says natural flavors could have paprika, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers in it. Anything that says spices, what spices? There are truly pre-shredded cheese is coated in potato starch. So many foods that have any type of red or orange tint have peppers or paprika, which paprika doesn't taste like shit, but it's just there for like color. There are so many foods that I can't eat and I spend a lot of my time grocery shopping just reading labels. I eat the same foods over and over because I know what my safe foods are. So yeah, it's annoying. I save a lot of money making my own food, but it gets annoying because people like to eat, um, to celebrate, people like to go out to dinner, 
Um, I go out with my friends and we drink and they're able to get food at the bar and I can't get food at the bar and I end up wasted and like blacked out because I forgot to bring a snack. Um, it's really aggravating. Um, the people in my life really want me to be happy, but I don't think they understand um, what I have. But I also realize that I've kind of been hiding it because I definitely do feel some shame around HS because it is like nasty like you, there's no way that you could see it as not being nasty and I've had this since I was in high school and I realized that I'm just like so tired like the only people that know how intense it is are my family but even at a certain point I stopped telling them about it because they're just like go to the doctor take some naproxen and I'm like I don't think you guys realize that like a lot of people live off a of disability that have this I don't think you realize that like I can't sleep like I'm propping up my pillows in weird directions um, I'm soaking through shirts like I'm getting sores from having band-aids but when I don't have band-aids on it just hurts um, so like it's frustrating I don't think people get it and then so when we go out I'm like don't worry about me food wise are you sure we can ask what about this what about this and like I'm not mad at my friends for doing that but I don't think they understand in order for me to be pain-free there are I won't be able to eat a majority of things that are out and even if it's maybe something that for no reason would be spicy, I'm worried that maybe the flour has potato starch in it because potato starch is everywhere. I'm worried that even though this thing is normal and it's not spicy, my friends tell me it's not spicy. Just because it's not spicy doesn't mean there are not peppers in it. Everything has peppers in it to make it taste good. Um, so it was like really aggravating to me. And last week I was with my boo thing and we wanted some food, but we didn't want to drive. So I'm like, let's order the sushi burrito place that looks really good. Um, there's another sushi burrito place that I ate at and I didn't like notice that I flared up that bad. So we ate this burrito place. It was so good, so good that I had it the next day and I had a little bit of leftovers the next day. So for the past week, I've just been, been hit with wave after wave of flare-up, there is no part of my armpit that could possibly, like, create a new spot. Um, if you have HS, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I don't actually know why you're watching this video. Because, um, it's pretty depressing. Um, most of my HS is in my armpits. This is the really bad one. There... There was a point where I didn't know, I couldn't even put my arm down. I couldn't even put my arm down because my whole armpit was swollen and leaking and just full of sores. This sucks. This is my first big flare-up in a while. Normally I'll eat something with a little bit of something in it and I won't know what it is and I'll get a little bit of a flare-up. But this is like one of the worst. I remember the last time I had a flare-up this bad I had ended up making a video starting the remission mission on this channel and I was like I have to change I have to find out what triggers me so that I can get through that so I did find out what triggers me to get through that nightshades and unfortunately nightshades are everywhere they're everywhere my friend everywhere they're in candy they're in smoothies they're in mayonnaise they're in salad dressing they're in packaged meats, they're in bacon. Basically what I eat are beans and tortillas, this one dip that I love that I know I can have. Um, pasta, I make a pizza. I basically eat the same foods over and over because I, I, I can't. I can explore on my own, which is really fun. I've been making some cool foods. I've been making some really yummy meals, which is really nice. But the convenience of being able to grab something is just not there. Being out with my friends and not being able to eat anything. And then, like, you know, even though people are trying to act like it's not different, like, it does, it is weird that everyone's, like, chowing down. And I'm just sitting there with, like, a drink in front of me, not eating. It's just, it's just annoying, honestly.
it's just annoying, aggravating. I have so much stuff to do. Um, I ended up quitting my job, so I really need to like bust my ass. I'm broke. I need to like hustle, and I can't even leave my bed. Like I cried in the mirror for like 30 minutes last night trying to take off my band-aids and put new ones on that's the video you saw i would be lying if i didn't have like some really negative thoughts while going through this because it, the pain is just so much i'm so uncomfortable and i'm losing sleep and if you have extended pain if you have pain for an extended period and you're also not able to like find any position that feels good and you're also not able to sleep it will drive you crazy. So I was definitely at that point last night. Um, things feel softer over here. So it means that I'm probably going into the, the lovely stage of I will stain all of my t-shirts. Which is great and it's disgusting and it's annoying. So here's an update. I am in the middle of a flare up. And it, it fucking hurts. Like, I just feel like stabbing pains constantly. And I'm just exhausted. But I'm back eating what I know I'm supposed to eat. I'm back not eating what I know I'm not supposed to eat. I will not be exploring different foods. And if I do eat something somewhere, it better not... I. It has to be a situation where I ask the kitchen exactly what's in everything. And even that sounds awful to me. I'd rather not have to be like, what's in this? Does this have this? Is this in here? I can't have this. Are you sure it's not in here? I don't really want to do that. But it seems like that's the only option. But I'm over complaining about the fact that I can't eat anything. I'm going to start packing snacks to take out with me. Um, I'm going to have to start packing full on meals. I'm going to have to buy a lunchbox that'll keep everything very cold or very hot. I don't know if that exists, but like I'm going to have to take things into my own hands and for once, for once and for all, be like steadily in remission. I will definitely keep you updated because I don't want this to be the last video on my channel about HS because it's something that is a very big part of my life, but it's something that I'm just, my default is to hide it. My default is to suffer in silence because who's going to help me? Like, or I don't want anyone to help me. Because I feel like they'll see me in a different way. But every once in a while, I just have these moments where I realize what I have is actually serious and... It's not something I've been making up and it's not something that, oh, get an antibiotic, oh, take naproxen. I've probably taken 50 naproxen in the past few days, like a lot, a lot of fucking naproxen I have. Um, I'm afraid to go to the doctors because they all do one thing. They give you antibiotics and that doesn't work. Um, I would love to go to the doctor and them give me some pain pills, but I just don't see that happening. Most doctors don't even know what HS is. This is a rough update. Um, but I just wanted to update because this sucks. It fucking sucks and it hurts so bad. I have no motivation to do any of the things that I know that I need to do today. Because I'm tired. I'm hurting really bad. And now I just have to ride it out. Like I haven't eaten anything bad in a week. But now I just have to ride out for my poor decision making a week ago. And it feels great. I can't wait to get back into remission. If I don't feel much better tomorrow, I might have to do a fast to like get things sped up. But I'm not really in the mood to water fast, to be honest. But yeah, so here's my update. I'm in the thick of it. Like I am mid flare up. And it sucks so bad. It sucks so bad. <clears throat> if you have HS, know that you're not alone. I'm here. 
I realize I'm not as vocal about it as I could be. I only have a couple videos on this channel about it. But um, I feel like I should definitely have more videos on my channel about it because it's a big deal. It really is a big deal. And um, it's not as rare of a disease as I thought it was growing up. It's actually not very rare. Like the percentage wise, it's not categorized as a rare disease. So there are many people out there that have this that maybe don't know, maybe been misdiagnosed. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I'm suffering along with you. I'm standing my clothes, my bed. I'm uncomfortable. I can't sleep. I can't reach for things. I haven't cooked in days and I'm starved, but like I just can't move my body. Um, yeah, I didn't plan to say anything. I just really wanted to give an update. And yeah, I definitely need to pack a bowl and I'm gonna have to try to wander to the store. I'm gonna try to wander to the store so I can get some more naproxen. 200 count gone. Um, not just from this flare up, but from flare ups and my period, but mostly flare ups. Like this is how much naproxen I go through. 50 caps, 200 caps. So I don't know how long it took me to get through 250 caplets, but um, definitely faster than a normal person would. So um, <laughs> that's all for this update. It's an interesting one. I can't wait to be in remission. Um, I will make another video for you all when I'm in remission or maybe if I notice things changing, whatever. But um, I will keep you updated because I feel like I should share more and I feel like just in general people should share more. Um, when it comes to things like this. So, yeah. I've run out of steam. And I need to get stoned. That's all for this video. Um, let me know in the comments how you're doing with your HS. Um, how's remission going if you're in it? What have you cut out? What have you found that helps remission? Are you on Humira, that drug that people have been taking? How's that going? Um... If you do, what is it? Iron and, oh no, I forgot. There, oh, zinc. If you're taking zinc supplements and that's working, let me know. Otherwise, if you're like me and you're miserable and you're flaring up, let, I mean, let's commiserate in the comments because unless someone else has HS, you can't truly know how fucked up it is. And how fucked up it feels. Um, my arm feels like it's on fire now. So I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this video could have been better. Whatever. I am obviously not in my right mind because I'm hurting. That's all for this video. Um, I'll talk to you later. I'll keep you updated. Otherwise, I'll be okay. Hopefully. All right. Bye.